from Ford Field in downtown Detroit, Michigan. This is the first of two meetings in four days between the U.S. and Haiti, but the Caribbean side, not the original opponents for these two matches. Haiti is a late replacement for Australia, who was supposed to come here and play two games, the USA. Pretty familiar, though, with Haiti. This will be their fifth overall meeting. Carly Lloyd will captain the U.S. side again. One of the great crowd at Ford Field, the home of the Detroit Lions of the NFL. USA in the blue and white. Haiti is in red and white as we get set for this one in Michigan. Speed, the quickness of Don, then the cross, back post area, not a down on the goal. US is on the board. Carly Lloyd, no surprise, one nothing. Split two of that pass, Don sending it long. Kristen Press, international goal number 25 for her. Take it down. That's a penalty. They end with a score. Three of the U.S. They've opened it up. Holiday put it up there. That's Lloyd again. So good in the end. Carter Lloyd. Four of the U.S. She's got the hat trick. The U.S. looking for one more before the final whistle. Good night for Crystal Dunn. The USA finishes it off in style. It wins five to nothing over Haiti. It was a little nerve-wracking being out there tonight, but it was, felt so amazing being with the team again. And of course, getting a goal, obviously in the 94th minute, I don't even know, but the game was over. And um, no, that was amazing. It was a really great experience. You know, the, the fans tonight were, were tremendous. Uh, you know, they, they obviously were coming out expecting a different opponent, but they were there and, and they're in number and force. And so we certainly appreciate that. I mean, Detroit brought brought the heat today. You know, there's 34 plus thousand people here, um, and it's just amazing to see around the country how much growth this sport has had over the course of my career. is absolutely packed. It is electric. U.S. soccer in full support today in Alabama. The U.S. women's national team victory tour rolling on. The celebration continues. Today, the world champions are in Birmingham, Alabama. They obviously want to thank the fans for the great support. They want to celebrate what happened over the summer, but they also know, the team and Coach Ellis, that in just five months' time, the U.S. national team has to qualify for the Olympics in February, and only two teams from this region go, only 12 teams total to the Olympics, so they're waving to the fans and thanking them, but they're also looking forward. U.S. and white, Haiti the blue, it's game on here at Legion Field in Alabama. He's not even aware of it here. O'Hara will whip it in. It's one nothing. Stopped in by Julie Johnston. Inside of a minute, the United States are up. Good chance of the point of the time. Wilma goes down to the penalty spot. They go the United States a chance to make it two. Carly Lloyd has delivered again. Lloyd, her 75th international goal. But right here, Mr. Dunn has scored. Lays it off, Alex Morgan. Crystal Dunn, big save. At the back post, trailing the play, knocking the simple touch in, is Carly Boyd. There's a long range here. Amy Rodriguez, the pure power, smashes it into the U.S. With the deflected and turns it. Does Alex Morgan finally have hers? Yes, she does. The smile goes ear to ear. Good fight for the U.S. again. It is Heather O'Reilly that is 
the final. It is 100 straight home matches for the United States without a loss. The crowd was awesome. They were loud, they were cheering, um, they were chanting USA. Even when I was sitting on the bench in the second half, there was people all around behind the bench screaming our names, and that's what we want to see. I think we've gone to another level, and um, the crowd here, you know, just being in Birmingham has been amazing, and we've, we've definitely felt very welcomed.